Hi everyone, Stacy Burke here, and I'm going to do a little rant. Okay, as everyone knows, I have a French bulldog named Clyde. He will be two years old, February 2017. Now, people that know about French bulldogs will probably know what I'm talking about, but there's a little pet peeve of mine. Okay. Yes, I have a stroller for my dog. Yes, I have a wagon for my dog. I use both all the time. Does he go for walks? Yes, he goes for walks. He gets plenty of exercise. But I do have a stroller and I have a wagon for my dog. Now, I get a lot of backlash. One time... I'm taking Clyde in his stroller, and a guy walks up to me and goes, That's pretty trendy there. Oh, thank you. Just walking by. Yeah, I guess it is trendy to have strollers, but you know what? They are practical. Let me tell you why. And also a wagon. There's wagons and strollers. It depends. Like, I do the stroller, and when I want to go to small places that are, that that's, when I, wagons too much, uh, the wagon's more roomy and it's more practical, but we have both because he's really big now for a stroller. And we have a playpen too, but we'll get to that. Um, okay, yes, I hear that. Like a lot of things I hear is like, does, does your dog walk? Can your dog walk? Oh, but he's just a dog. Oh, why can't he walk? Why don't you walk in him? Why is he in a stroller? Like, I, I get it that the, there's even a commercial about people that hate dog strollers. Okay, I don't know about other breeds of dogs. I'm just going to talk about my breed. It's very practical reason. And it's a pet peeve of mine when people get annoyed. One time I was, I was in a stroller and they go, but he's a dog. Let him walk. He's a dog. Like, first of all, that mentality of, oh, he's just a dog. Screw him. I don't like that. That's He's a soul. He's a living, breathing loving soul he's my baby and i will love him and he gets seriously he gets whatever he wants because he has a short life like there's a saying like a dog is part of your life but you are his whole life because they have a short life like you if you're the owner are his whole life he's only a part of mine he's i'm his whole life and it's very short, so I'm going to make it as wonderful and beautiful as I can make it. Now, for practicalities, reasons, French Bulldogs. A lot of people, I get so annoyed when I see people with French Bulldogs and it's a very hot day and they got them on a leash or they, they carry around a puppy and it's hot. Okay, French Bulldogs get overheated very easily, very easily, more than normal dogs. As you know, dogs don't sweat. So they don't cool themselves off. But French Bulldogs, let's be honest, it's a man-made dog. It's like a Franken dog. It's like a Frankenstein dog. It's like they're bred different. So they're, you know, they have a lot of ailments. They have a short nose, pug nose. They can't breathe right. Uh, they sneeze a lot. They have a lot of respiratory problems. Um, they get tired. Like you could walk them and after a while they're, they're tired. They're tired. They'll stop. And if they're small enough, yes, you can pick them up. Clyde's a big dog. He's 35, almost 40 pounds. And so picking him up is sometimes not practical. He's heavy, and maybe I have other items in my hand. So it's practical in that sense. He gets tired after a while. And oh, all the time, all the time here. Throw my phone away. <laughs> he gets tired after a while, right? So instead of picking them up and, and carrying them everywhere, it's like the stroller makes perfect sense. Uh, he gets overheated. There's been stories, I've so many people have told me with their French Bulldog or people they know, that they'll, that they'll outrun them or, or, or run them too hard and they will die of a heart attack. Because dogs will just keep going. They want to please you. They'll keep going and they will have a heart attack. Like... 
I don't want that with Clyde. Like, he could have a heart attack if I run him too hard or if it's too hot. He could have a heat stroke. That's why we have a swimming pool for him. Like, whenever we get done for a walk, the first thing he does after we take him for a walk, not a stroller, in at the walk, he goes straight to a swimming pool because he needs to cool down. He gets overheated. He plays for maybe 10 minutes, and that's it. His skateboard, he loves a skateboard. He loves to play with the skateboard. He's only good for 10 minutes because he gets overheated. He needs water. He needs to cool off. He needs to get uh, wet it down. He needs to just calm down and relax. And sometimes when you're going for a walk, if you're going for a long walk, you you have more endurance than the animal does. So it makes sense putting them in the stroller because sometimes we want to go for a long walk or we want to go someplace, you know, and he likes it because he wants to go all these places, but his body prevents him to have the endurance to walk so far, especially on a hot day. We live in, we live in Southern California. Even when we live at the beach, it still gets 100 degrees. Sometimes with humidity, without humidity, it is it is hot. So the stroller comes in handy, and we have, and the wagon comes in handy. We have shade for him. We keep enough water for him. I have a spray bottle for him, and we just monitor him because I care for him. And yes, he's a dog, and yes, he does walk, and we walk him, and he gets a lot of exercise. Don't worry. There's another aspect. When it's hot, the pavement's hot, he could burn his paws. That goes with all animals. It burns their paws. The pavement's hot. The sand is hot. So that comes in handy with there as well. I mean, I got some notes. Uh, pavement hot. He gets tired after 10 minutes. He's too heavy to carry. Seriously, when he gets tired, he'll just lay down. And then what are you going to do? Drag him or carry him. He's heavy. You know? And then, um, then there's another thing. There's some places that might not allow, well, that's a loud vehicle, won't allow animals, but if you have them in a stroller, they'll allow it. Like sometimes I could take him if I want to go shopping in certain places. Um, also, he's like a service dog. He has uh, credentials for a service dog. Also, if I want to go for a draw, uh, jog on the beach, there's a pavement area, but dogs are not allowed there because, you know, no one wants to pick up, you know, a lot of people don't pick up their poop. So it's like, it's messy, and you don't want the leash, tanglings, joggers. But if I have him in the stroller, I could go for a jog in the stroller, and he could go for a long ways. So that's another reason for jogging, and I could go places that they don't allow dogs because he's in the stroller, because that's his little safe spot. Like, he'll jump in his stroller. He'll jump in his wagon because that's a safe spot. It's, it's just kind of cool. He's just kind of – that's his little area, and he knows that's his area. And so when things get crazy, he knows to go in his area. Um, and then also with other dogs. My Frenchie, most Frenchies, I guess, are bully dogs. That's why Bulldog, I think. I don't know. Maybe that's why they got the name. Um, oh, my phone going off. Um, he's a bully. Like, he will growl, bark. He won't really bite, but he will intimidate bigger dogs and bigger dogs sometimes take it and sometimes not i he'd been in a few dog fights where he lost or won it doesn't even matter because either way it's a lost situation if he wins the fight and the other dog's injured i gotta pay the fine uh i if if they might have to put Clyde down if he if it's really bad injuries and if it's opposite if the other dog hurts him then that's my animal uh you know, my pet, my baby, I don't want, so it's to avoid that, I have the stroller and the wagon, because if there's another dog, because there's been instances, people don't use leashes sometimes, sometimes they'll think it's funny, like, oh, my dog's fine, I go, well, great, your dog's fine, but my dog has a Napoleon complex, and he will antagonize your dog until things get ugly, so I try to keep him in a safe spot. And that's a safe spot. So it helps me with other animals, like to keep them away, segregated a little bit from other animals because I don't know how to judge. Sometimes he's okay and sometimes he's not. But I like to 
slowly into it before something really bad happens. Because he is heavy, he is strong, he's very muscular, he overpowers me very easily, and I don't want that to happen. So that's another reason for the stroller and the wagon. It's also good for shopping because if I'm carrying items and stuff like that and I got the dog, it just helps all together to have a wagon and a stroller. And I'm going to kill my phone. <laughs> It's all quiet until I start record. I'm sorry about that. Okay. Another thing, I think I told you about this, where um, I heard so many stories of French bulldogs die from heart attacks because, they, like, even with the, the, the skateboard, if we let him, he will go with a skateboard all day until he will pass out. So we got to take away the skateboard away from him. We have to take away his toys away from him after a while. At 9 o'clock is the bewitching hour. He gets really crazy. We let him play hard for a while, and then we have to put him in the man cave and put him, give him a bone to pacify him. And it's not a bone. It's a ram bone or an antler, not a real bone, because that's my next pet, my next pet peeve. Some of my husband's friends and some people would give him regular bones. And I used to think it was okay until I realized it's not. Cooked bones are very bad for dogs. They splinter and they choke. French bulldogs are even more at risk for choking because they're short nose, they're breathing, pro they have a lot of breathing problems and uh, they just choke very easily. And Cooked bones is not good because it splinters and it can get, there's just a lot of issues. So I have this rule, no bones, but still people think they know better. Oh, he's a dog. Yeah, I'm a bone. And so one of Roy's friend would sneak a bone and I would have to rip and I had to told Roy and I'd tell everyone like, look, don't, you know, don't do that. This is my dog. I don't want him to die. You know, he's a special dog. He's special. He's a French bulldog. You know, and there's probably other special dogs out there, but I don't know because that's all I have is a French Bulldog. That's all I could say. So I give him a ram bone, which is actually a ram horn, and uh, it's a deer antler, and he chews on that to pacify him at night. Um, so, yeah, it's like I got right when I got quiet, I got so many people like, calling me out saying oh you know you got a stroller for a dog and you know he's a dog let him walk and they would like manhandle him and and I had a rule about no um be careful when you come in the house if you have any medication or anything don't let it fall on the floor any pot because it's like he will ingest anything and I don't want him to get sick whether it's pot whether it's um cigarettes whether it's chewing tobacco or it's an aspirin when I took him to Ripple's, um, that restaurant, he went behind the the bar, and I caught him trying to get into the rat poisoning. There was some rat poison out there. So I had to monitor him. It's like having a kid. You know, they get into things, and so, you know, I'd have uh, rules and stuff like that. Okay, be quiet. <laughs> People talking out there. Um, okay. And I, uh, what is this? Uh, curious. Yeah, I think I kind of hit it. I don't know. There could be other things, but I get all these people saying, and I get the looks when I have them in the stroller. I know it looks very trendy. It looks very LA. She, 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 but there's actually real reasons to have in a stroller or a wagon. Okay. Your mom wants what? <laughs> so, um, there's real reasons for that. So, I don't know. I'm just ranting. So, if you see someone with a doggy stroller or a wagon or some kind of trendy, cool dog apparatus, whatever it is, like, don't be so easily to mock. There is a reason. And, you know, people evolve. Back in the day, I know dogs didn't have it so good. But now we learn. We learn from our mistakes and we learn how to take care of our loved ones better. Whether they be a dog, a man, a bird, a cat, whatever it may be. We learn to take care of them better. You know? And if they want to coddle them too much and, 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 and baby them too much, so be it. That's their child. Just like a kid. Some kids are really spoiled, stuff like that. 
And I'm not trying to like say I spoil my dog. In a way, I do. I admit it. I take him to Pussy and Poops. I take him to the paw bar. But there's a real, there's real practical reasons for this. I even have a playpen for him because when we go to the beach, most places don't allow dogs at the beach. But there are certain places that allow dogs at the beach. There's a dog beach over here, and also when we do movies on the beach, they'll allow. They don't really allow dogs because they've had their problems, but they'll allow Clyde because they know we are responsible. And I will put him in a playpen because then he's in his playpen. He has all his toys, all his stuff, and he's in a safe area so he doesn't bark at other dogs. And also people are eating food. He won't, if he's on a leash, he won't try to get to him, get to the people with the food and beg for food. He won't dig in the sand and make the sand go everywhere. He's in his playpen. So I have a playpen for him, yes, to be courteous of other people because, you know, no one wants a dog that digs sand and sand goes everywhere. Or I hate people when you're walking by and they let the dog go on the leash everywhere and they basically clothesline you. Like you're going this way and the dog's leash is going that way and you, you trip over their leash and stuff like that. Or people that don't pick up the dog poop and all that kind of stuff. I'm a responsible pet owner. And so, yeah, deal with my stroller. Deal with my wagon. Deal with it. And doesn't he look cute? And you know what? We go by. Yeah, they go, oh, my God, that's a light. Oh, my God, look at that lucky dog. Look at that lucky dog. Who's walking who? But then you get a few that are like, oh, he's a dog. Ugh. Can't your dog walk? Why can't your, why don't you let your dog walk? He walks. We take him for a walk every single day. And he runs all over the house. And we chase him. We give him toys. He walks. Trust me, he runs. He does all that stuff. Just he's, he gets tired quickly. He's a French bulldog. Another thing, another thing, he loves the water. He loves to swim. But French bulldogs, they have heavy heads. They sink like rocks. So I have, I have a life vest for him. Yes, I do. And whenever we go somewhere where there's water, I, if he doesn't have his life vest, I will keep him on the leash because I don't want the tide to come in and, and him get him drowned because he does. He, he, he sinks like a rock. We have a little kiddie pool for him, and I keep it only filled to this much where it's like he won't drown. He, he sinks. You can Google it if you don't believe me. French bulldogs have a heavy head, and they sink like rocks. Some bulldogs can swim, very rare, but they're body master. If you look at them, they're muscle. They're pure muscle, and their head is so big. It's heavy. It's heavy. Anyway, that's just my little rant. Uh, because, you know, I'm just, I just had a rant because I, I hear it all the time. Because I take my, I try to take Clyde. When I first got a French Bulldog, I'm like, oh, cool, a small dog I could take everywhere. I don't know. He's big. He's almost 40 pounds. He's huge. So, Thank God for strollers. Thank God for wagons. And he loves it. And you know what? Another thing that trumps, pardon the pun, everything that I've ever said, he loves it. When we get his wagon out or strollers out, he gets so excited, he jumps in it. We even say, get in your wagon, get in your stroller. He'll jump in it. And we go, and he, you can see his face. He's so happy. And he just loves. One time, Roy had to go somewhere, and he needed to keep the wagon. Excuse the cat yelling out there, had to go somewhere and needed the wagon. So he took the wagon. Clyde saw Daddy was taking the wagon without him, and he started whimpering and crying because that was his wagon, because he knows that's his wagon. And it's a fold-up wagon. It's really cool. I got it at the OC uh, swap meet, uh, Orange County swap meet, and it folds up. and has, like, a little canopy, and it's, it's just great because I could put my stuff in it. We could go shopping, and it's huge. For uh, Clyde, and the stroller's good too. It's a doggy stroller. You know, he's a little big for it, but he still likes it, and it's good for if I go in, in you know, in little aisles, and it's good for when I go jogging and stuff like that. And I'll insert some video and some photos at the end of it of Clyde enjoying his stroller and his wagon. So, thank you for letting me get that off my chest, and for all you pet mommies, your fur mommies and daddies, you know what I'm saying, right? 
We love our babies. We just make sure they have a great, great life. We just try to make their life as wonderful as possible. So don't buy into that peer pressure. Buy into like, oh, he's a dog. Yeah. So what? And you've got a little baby human that has two legs and they can walk too. But sometimes you don't want to carry them because they get tired, don't they? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, well, it's gone on long enough. To all my stays cadets and all my briquettes, I hope you have a groovy day. Peace.